If you're upgrading your gaming PC for massive titles like Starfield or the upcoming GTA 6, you've probably come across two of the newest mid-range graphics cards, AMD's Radeon RX 9060 XT and Nvidia's GeForce RTX 5060 Ti. Both launched recently in 2025, and they're aimed squarely at delivering smooth gameplay at 1440p resolution. But which one gives you the best performance for your money? Let's walk through the key differences, from specs and performance to ray tracing, power efficiency, and pricing, so you can decide which GPU makes the most sense for your setup. Let's start with the basics. The RX 9060 XT is built on AMD's latest RDNA4 architecture. It comes in two versions, an 8GB model for $299 and a 16GB one for $349. It runs at 180 watts of total board power, which is pretty efficient. It also supports the newer PCIe 5.0 connection, so it's more future-proof if you're building a newer rig. NVIDIA's RTX 5060 Ti, on the other hand, uses their Blackwell design. It also comes in 8 and 16 gigabyte models, but at higher prices, $380 and up to $490 for the 16 gig version. It uses faster GDDR7 memory, which gives it an edge in bandwidth, but it also runs slightly hotter at 190 watts. Both cards use a 128-bit memory interface, which can be a limitation in some modern games. And here's the kicker. Eight gigabytes of video memory just isn't enough for some of today's more demanding games. If you're aiming for 1440 pence or want to future-proof, skip the eight gig versions. At 1440p resolution, which is the sweet spot for mid-range builds today, the RX 9060 XT 16 gigabyte model has a slight lead overall. Across about 40 modern titles, it outperforms the RTX 5060 Ti 8GB card by around 6%. In some cases, like Assassin's Creed Mirage, it can even be up to 30% faster. When compared to the 16GB version of the RTX 5060 Ti, it's more of a neck-and-neck -neck race. Both cards trade blows depending on the game. The RX 9060 XT does better in open-world titles like Starfield especially at higher settings, while the 5060 Ti does better in some shooters and games that benefit from NVIDIA's tech. Bottom line, if you're sticking to 1440 pence and not going too heavy on ray tracing, AMD's card gives you better value, especially at that lower price. Now let's talk visuals. If ray tracing is a big deal for you, think realistic lighting, reflections and shadows. NVIDIA still has the upper hand. In games like Alan Wake 2 and Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora, the 5060 Ti performs about 13% better than the RX 9060 XT when ray tracing is fully cranked up. DLSS 3, Nvidia's upscaling technology, is another big win. It sharpens visuals and boosts frame rates using AI, and it's supported in a ton of games. AMD's new FSR4 is closing the gap and brings cool new tech like neural caching but it's still not as widely supported, and it doesn't always look as sharp. If your favorite games use DLSS, or if you love high-end visuals, the 5060 Ti is worth considering. Efficiency might not be the flashiest feature, but it matters, especially for smaller cases, or if you're concerned about power usage. The RX 9060 XT draws about 10 watts less than the RTX 5060 Ti, and AMD's newer 4 nanometer process makes it run cooler and quieter in most situations. That said, Nvidia's 5060 Ti with GDDR7 memory can spike in power usage when pushed, especially the overclocked models that some brands sell for $500 or more. AMD's reference design can be a bit loud under load, but overall, it's the leaner card. Here's where things really tip in AMD's favor. The RX 9060 XT 16 gigabyte version costs around $349, which is 80 to 140 bucks less than the 16 gigabyte RTX 5060 Ti, depending on the model. Even the eight gig versions show a big price gap, but again, we'd strongly recommend skipping those if you're gaming at 1440p. There's a catch though, 
AMD's card is harder to find at launch prices. Some listings already show it creeping up to $400. The RTX 5060 Ti is a bit easier to find, but it's also been scalped above 500 in some cases. If you can grab the RX 9060X T16 gigabytes close to its MSRP, you're getting fantastic value. If you're open to buying last gen but still powerful hardware, keep an eye on the RX 7800XT. It has 16 gigabytes of memory, a wider 256-bit memory bus, and it punches about 15% harder, it's not as efficient, pulling about 260 watts. But for raw performance in non-ray traced games, it's a beast. So, what's the best choice right now? Go for the RX 9060 XT 16GB model if you care most about bang for your buck. It gives you great performance at 1440p, solid power efficiency, and a future-ready setup with PCIe 5.0 support. You're missing out a bit on ray tracing, but most players will be happy with the value. Pick the RTX 5060 Ti 16GB model if ray tracing and DLSS matter to you. It costs more, but the visual boost is noticeable in games that support it. Just try to grab it at the lower end of its price range, closer to $430. Skip the 8GB versions unless you only play at 1080p, and don't plan to crank up the settings. They'll struggle with newer, heavier games. Keep an eye out for deals on the RX 7800 XT if you want extra muscle and don't need the newest features. Let me know which card you're leaning toward and I'll help you track down the best deal. Game on and happy upgrading.